So let's find one and one third inches on a ruler here or a tape measure. So the one, that's this part right here. That's our one inch. So really what we need to figure out is where is one third of an inch here? So let's do that. We could start by saying we have a half an inch like this. That's 0 0.5. And one divided by three, that gives you 0 0.333. It keeps repeating. So one third is 0 0.333. 333. So we know it's less. It's somewhere in this area over here. Half of a half, that's one-fourth. So we have one-fourth. That's 0 0.25. So now we're looking for 0.333. We know it's somewhere in here. So we're just going to keep doing that. If you take half of a fourth, you get an eighth. And if you take half of an eighth, you get a sixteenth. So we could say that right here, halfway between a fourth and a half, we could go this, here's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. So that's three eighths right there. Three eighths, that turns out to be, write it up here, 0 0.375. So now we're looking for 0 0.333. So we know it's somewhere in this space right here. So we could count sixteenths. Go one, two, three, four, right there is five sixteenths. And if you divide five by 16, things are getting crowded. So let's put that right up here. So our one and one third inch is gonna be our one inch and then our third of an inch is gonna be somewhere right here between five sixteenths and three eighths, closer to this number here. So probably about right here is where we're gonna be at. So this right here would be our one third. So we have one and one third inches. So it's going to be right a little bit after five sixteenths or one and five sixteenths of an inch. That's how you do it. You could get more exact by maybe looking at 60 fourths of an inch or 30 seconds of an inch. But for our purposes, this is pretty good. One and one third inches, a little bit after one and five sixteenths of an inch. That's how you do it, or that's how at least I do it. Thanks for watching.